the third aspect, operations with radical expressions. So the idea of sequential numbers is that these divisions are going to be numerical sequences that are only the numbers inside the radical symbol. You can see this in our notes on the next slide. We had looked at earlier in the year on how to add and subtract like terms. When you have radicals involved, you have to have like radicands. So you start with the number, then you have the radical components, and you're adding and subtracting fractions to the radical components, and then you can have like radicands. So here, the radical square root of three, or you're just adding the coefficients in front, the five plus two gives you the seven, the radicands stays the same. So let's take a look at the example. 3 square root of 7 plus 7 square root of 7. The radicands are the same, so I know I have the square root of 7. 3 plus 7 will give us 10. So our answer is 10 over 7. Let's simplify. I have like radicals already. So 8 plus 2 it gives us 10. Square root of 3. And with subtraction, the radicands are the same. So I take my coefficients and I subtract them and I get negative 5 square root of 11. Example 2, here for the linear matrices. So the first thing you need to do is break down the radicals into its simplest form to see if there are any like radicands. So here these are the cube roots. So the cube root of 40. I know if there's a cube root of 8 times the cube root of 5, which will the cube root of 8 is 2, times the 6. Don't forget about that 6 there times the cube root of 5, and we're going to subtract from that. Here's the cube root of 120, 135. 135 divided by 27 is the cube root, so it gives us 5. So we have the cube root of 27 times the cube root of 5. So I have 2 times the cube root of 27 is 3 times the cube root of 5. So my final formula for solving this one cube root of 5 minus 6 cube root of 5. So the radicands are now the same. 12 minus 6 is 6 cube root of 5. Then our next one, 175. So 175 divided by 125 does not go in evenly. So 175 divided by, let's try 27. Nope, 100. 75, actually this is a square root, so if we did square roots, so 175 divided by 25, because 25 is a perfect square, we would have square root of 25 and square root of 7, square root of 25 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15, square root of 7, 63 is the square root of 9 times the square root of 7, which will be minus 3 square root of 7, like radicands, so I have 15 minus 3 is 12, square root of 7. This one, so we have negative 11 square root of 50 plus 2 square root of 32. So this one I know I can break down as the square root of 25 and the square root of 2, which will give us 5 times 11 is negative 55 square root of 2. This could be square root of 16 times square root of 2. Six, square root of 16 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Square root of 2, 50, negative 55 plus 8 is negative 47. Square root of 2, so that would be choice B. Next, example 3, decorations. So in the word problem format, Kate is decorating a rectangular pavilion and a circle around a tree length along the edge of the pavilion. Two of the sides have a combined length of 26 square root of 5. And the other two sides have a combined length of 12 square root of 25. How many feet of white will Kate need to decorate the entire pavilion? So you're taking 26 square root of 5 and you're adding 12 square root of 45. I cannot break down the 26 square root of 5, but I can break down the 45. That's the square root of 9 times the square root of 5, which will give us 3 times 12, which is 36 square root of 5. And then we can add 26 square root of 5 to that, and that would give us an answer of 62 square root of 5.
and this would be units of feet. Next is the total area of the wall is 180 square feet. Then there are two wing areas that are within that area. This is a wing of 13 square of 28 square feet. What is the area of the surface that Rashid will need to paint? So this one, the wall is 180 square of seven feet. And I gotta subtract the area of the window and the door. That'd be 13 square of 28. Break down this as a square root of four times a square root of seven, which will give us 26 square root of seven. And we're gonna subtract 180 square root of seven from that. So 180 minus 26 gives us 154 square root of seven square feet that he would need to paint. Take the bigger Two ramps will require 10 square root of 28 cubic feet and four times the square root of 112 cubic feet or plus feet. How much concrete will we need to fill the two ramps? So we're going to take the 10 square root of 28 and we're going to add four square root of 112. This will be a square root of four times square root of seven, which will give us 20 square root of seven. Plus here, I can break this down as a square root of 16 and the square root of 7. And that would give us 16 square root of 7. If I add them together, I get 36 square root of 7, which will match up with the letter P. And the last part of part four is multiplying radical expressions. To multiply radical expressions, multiply the coefficients with the coefficients and the radicands with the radicands. So with uh, just like with rational numbers, you multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, radicals, the coefficients times the coefficients, and then the radicands times the radicands. So an example, five square root of three times four square root of six, that will give us 20. This will give us square root of 18, but I can break that down as a square root of nine and a square root of two, which will give us an answer of 60 square root of B. Next, two times seven is 14, times a square root of 40. I can break that down as a square root of four and a square root of 10, which will give us an answer of 28 square root of 10. And our final question. Multiply these, so 3 times a negative 9 is a negative 27, times the square root of 60, and I can break this down as a square root of, let's see, 60 divided by uh, 4 would give us 15. Square root of 4 is 2, 2 times negative 27 would give us a negative 54 times the square root of that is our lesson today on operations with radical expressions.